In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our service this morning. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us say together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Heavenly Father, you call us to prepare for the coming of your Son. Forgive us our unreadiness to receive him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you were proclaimed by John the Baptist. Help us also to prepare your way. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you speak through the prophets. Make us attentive to hear your word. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, who in Jesus Christ has given us a kingdom that cannot be destroyed, forgive us our sins, open our eyes to God's truth, and strengthen us to do God's will, and give us the joy of his kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, for whom we watch and wait, you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way of your Son. Give us courage to speak the truth, to hunger for justice, and to suffer for the cause of right. With Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. Sing, O barren one who did not bear, burst into song and shout, you who have not been in labour. For the children of the desolate woman will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. Enlarge the sight of your tent and let the curtain of your habitation be stretched out. Do not hold back, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left, and your descendants will proceed the nations, and will settle the desolate towns. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Do not be discouraged, for you will not suffer disgrace. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and the disgrace of your widowhood you will remember no more. For your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. For the Lord has called you like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, like the wife of a man's youth when she is cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with great compassion I will gather you. Into overflowing wrath for a moment I hid my face from you. But with everlasting love, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is like the days of Noah to me, just as I swore that the water as of Noah would never again go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. This is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> the response to the psalm, I will exalt you, O Lord. I will exalt you, O Lord. 
I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph, triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. I will exalt you, O Lord. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. I will exalt you, O Lord. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I will exalt you, O Lord. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks for ever. I will exalt you, O Lord. We stand if you are able for our gospel. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Amen. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. When John's messengers had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes. Look, those who put on fine clothing and live in luxury or in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet. Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John, yet the least of the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people who heard this, including the text tax collectors, acknowledged the justice of God, because they had been baptised with John's baptism. But by refusing to be baptised by him, the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected God's purposes for themselves. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated for a moment. Today is the final day of the first part of Advent. So up to now, our Gospel readings have all been about the adult Jesus and his ministry. But from the 17th of December each year, the Gospel texts are taken from the infancy narratives. Today's Gospel continues on from yesterday's with Jesus' remarks about John the Baptist. Addressing his disciples, Jesus asked people what they went into the desert, presumably to see John. Was it to see a reed swaying in the breeze? Some scholars think that this is a reference to Herod, whose emblem was a reed. No, Jesus says, they went out to hear a prophet, and not just any prophet. Jesus now makes explicit John's purpose, and expresses it in terms that John used himself. John is the wilderness voice the one whose voice prepares the way for Jesus himself. As we saw earlier in Advent, John is the fulfilment of the prophecy that Elijah would return. Jesus' praise for John continues. All of those born of women, there is no one greater than John, yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he is. It's a rather puzzling statement. But perhaps it can be explained by reminding ourselves that Jesus' ministry, beginning with his proclamation that the kingdom of God is at hand, only began when John had been taken out of circulation 
imprisoned and then killed by Herod. All this being the case, John is depicted very much as an Old Testament prophet, a pivotal figure paving the way for Jesus himself. Let us pray. Come to your church, Lord, as Lord and Judge. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, come to your world as King of the nations. Before you, rulers will stand in silence. Lord, in your mercy, come to the suffering as Saviour and Comforter. Break into our lives where we struggle with sickness and distress and set us free to serve you forever. We pray this time those who we know who are sick or suffering. Praying by name for David Tilson, Mary Reeves, Joan Thorburn and Michael. Lord, in your mercy. Come to us as shepherd and guardian of our souls. Give us, with all the faithful departed, a share in your victory over evil and death. We pray for all those who have died recently and those whose memory is cherished particularly at this time. Praying by name for Joseph William Tate, Thomas William Campbell Owens, Carol Frampton, Sarah, Sarah Patterson, Laura Mary Taylor, Pauline Young, Bernard Bloor, and Lily Armstrong Corden. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy. Come from heaven, Lord Jesus, with power and great glory. Lift us up to meet you, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St John the Baptist and all your saints and angels, we may live and reign with you in your new creation. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand if you're able for the peace. May the God of peace make you completely holy ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace.
are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift the hands to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us, and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will, and one for you, a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit of your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour taught, has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lamb of God, you take away have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Lord, for these heavenly gifts, kindling us the fire of your Spirit, that when your Christ comes again, we may shine as lights before his face, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. 
Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace, and opened the gates of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole world live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.